What else have they got to live for? They, well, sex, probably. <laughs> well, doubtless sex. They keep that very quiet. Yeah. But I know you don't like Dickens. Who no, I don't like Dickens. Dickens. Yes, he's post-Austin. Now, yeah. Jane Austen, of course, is the greatest novelist in the English language. Well, right? she's a great novelist, but not the greatest. Not the greatest. I'm a Dickens man. Yeah. Well, Dickens is messy, George. Of course he's messy, but he's lively. He only wrote one great book, which is Pickwick Papers. I would put that way down compared to Bleak House. <laughs> I've been here uh, for about 350 years. My family came over with the first load of bricks. Yeah. I and consider myself speaking the Brahmin dialect of Boston. But the word Brahmin is a very difficult word to define, and it wasn't, in fact, invented by until, uh, until Oliver Wendell Holmes in the middle yes. of the last century. Do you think there are many people in Boston who speak like you two gentlemen do? We're a dwindling group. They're dwindling. We are, we are a declining group. But I think there may be as many as a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Out of 600,000. I, I, <laughs> I, I often wonder. Uh, you tend to revel in the communication 